Hi everyone, in this video I just would like to show you how you can deploy the Docusaurus documentation website. I show you how, you how you can create it in a previous video, so I just want to show you how you can deploy that to GitHub Pages. It's going to be super simple, we just have to change a couple of um, variables in the configuration file and that's it. Okay, so this is the website that we created in the previous video, so just go and check uh, my previous video if you want to know how you can uh, modify the Docosaurus default template, how you can change the icon and so on. So as you can see, this is our website, which is working locally on local host 3000. And again, if you want to understand more how to run it locally and how to, the, um, to get it started, just have a look at my other video. So now that we have our uh, website that uh, uh, we like it, how it looks, okay, so this is fine. We just need to change one uh, file and then we're going to be able to publish it to GitHub Pages, okay? So the first thing that we need to do is, of course, to open our project here with any IDE. We have to navigate inside our project. So my project is inside the Docosaurus example YouTube directory, and then is inside my website. So let me see if I can increase the font size. So Okay, so at least this one has increased. Uh, this one is still a bit small, sorry. So I'm inside the Docosaurus example YouTube, which is uh, on my desktop. Inside this directory, there is my website. And again, if you want to understand better how these files are structured, just have a check my previous website. So inside my website, we need to go in to the Docosaurus config file and just open this file here, okay? We are going to change only four uh, uh, keys of this dictionary. So the URL, the base URL, the organization name, and the project name, okay? So let's start from here, the project name. The project name is the repository name. In this case, is docosaurus-example-youtube. Of course, replace that with the name of your repository. And now you can check that. Well, just go on GitHub where you created the repository and uh, just give it the same name. So you have to create a repository. Again, I've covered this in the previous video. So click, uh, check the name of your repository and just copy it and paste it here, okay? Organization name, on the other end, is your GitHub username, okay? So in this case, I'm just going to type it here, so. Okay, then we need to change the base URL. The base URL, we have to do, we have to put the, the same name as the project name, okay? But uh, before you have to put a forward slash and you have to put a forward slash after as well. And uh, the URL, you just have to replace it with your organization name, which is in this case is your name, your uh, GitHub username, dot github.io. If you want to learn more, you can also read on the Docusaurus version 2 documentation website, okay? You can see in the deployment um, information, they have uh, like uh, deploy on GitHub pages. So organization name, we have changed it, project name, URL, and base URL, okay? As you can see here, this is how we change the URL, which is very important. So instead of username, we put uh, Federico Tartarini .io, okay? And uh, the base URL has to be the, um, the, the name of the repository, okay? So once that uh, is done, we can go back to GitHub here and we can see that at the moment there is only the master branch, there is no other GitHub pages branch, which is going to be the one that uh, eventually GitHub is going to get the code from there and deploy to GitHub pages. So we just have to copy and paste this command here in our terminal. So in this IDE, the terminal is here already at the bottom. Uh, so you can see it here, otherwise just open the terminal and then navigate to your repository, navigate to my website, okay? So just copy and paste the command that is uh, actually here. Perfect. And the only thing that you need to change uh, is not uh, is the username. So git user, in this case, you have to put your username, okay? So you just have to change that, press enter, 
Endocusaurus is going to deploy, deploy all the files for you. Okay, and in this case, we are actually have had um, an error. And uh, let me just have a look one second at the error. Okay, so possibly the issue that I'm actually facing is because of the because of the quotation here. So let me just run the same command as I run before, but uh, just change to single quotation. So inside inside of instead of copying this command here in Windows. Okay, if you're using Bash, uh, later I'm going to use Bash if I'm going to get another error. But I just wanted to show you with the PowerShell. Uh, terminal of window. If you're using Bash, it's much easier because you just have to copy your username here. You're, going, you're not going to run into this issue. But since I'm using PowerShell here on Windows, I just have to change, I think, uh, uh, from double quotation to single quotation. So let me actually run it again. No, is uh, actually going to give me the same uh, error. So I just have to have a quick look on what is the error and then I will get back. Okay, sorry, I think I've identified the cause of the problem. So not only, in fact, you have to remove uh, completely the quotation. So, I mean, this command here is incorrect. So not only you have to remove completely this quotation here from uh, uh, around the Git user. In addition, you need to have no space uh, between git user and your username and the um, and uh, and the symbols. Okay, so here there is has to be no space at all. So let's try to run it again. So right now, uh, Docusaur is actually building our website, so everything is going to be is going fine. Let's see if everything goes smooth. Yes, so everything is fine. So unfortunately, there is that uh, double error, which you can easily fix if you have Git Bash installed on your computer. So when you install uh, on uh, uh, Git Bash, so when you install uh, Git on your computer, often you eventually will install also Git Bash. So you can easily use this command here, but I just wanted to show you using PowerShell. Okay. So let's just me let's just uh, let me recap everything. So we're going to PowerShell, okay, we navigate to our uh, uh, repository, so we are in desktop, uh, GitHub project, and then we go Docusaurus, and then we go my website, okay, so here where you need to go, and uh, you just have to copy, again, the same command as is written here, but with few minor changes, so first of all, uh, we are going to remove uh, the quotation uh, completely then we are going to change the github username with our user and then finally we are going to remove actually even the space between the our username and the end symbol okay so let me actually increase it the size so let me actually just copy this so let me paste it. Okay, so here we are. So CMD, and then we set the git user, and then equal to my username, and end yarn deploy. Okay, I don't know why the is not showing the last uh, quotation. We press enter. Okay. Okay. So let me actually just copy this again. Perfect. So, uh, as I said, I'm going to remove this. I'm going to remove this completely. And then I type my username. And then I press Enter. OK. So, let's see. Everything is going fine. Is uh, building our website. Perfect. Success is cloning in Docosaurus example. Yes, we get all the output. And uh, I mean, I just did it so everything was already up to date. So everything was fine. I just wanted actually to show you 
the command but done so there is there is no error so now if you go to our repository and we check here and we refresh so now can you see without doing anything we have the master branch and we have the github pages branch okay and here in environment as you see as you can see here on the right side now there is the symbol github pages and says active so if we click here okay it says that it was deployed three minutes ago and if i do view deployment here is my website so now it's actually working perfectly fine and a very nice thing is that uh, uh, is deployed for free with ssh on github pages so now uh, you can uh, even access this website by using this url okay Thank you very much for listening, and sorry if there was that error, but at least we saw how to fix it. Please like, please consider liking the video or subscribing if you find this video useful.